All right, guys. So um, my truck did some crazy stuff the other day, and uh, today we're gonna be trying to fix the issue. Um, I do believe that the issue is the P uh, PCB valve recall on the 09 Silverados and that body style. Um, so first, you have to take off the engine cover, and then we're gonna take out this right here. There's one. There's one behind this, there's one right there, one right here, and then there is one under this right here, and there's one right back here. All right, so we're gonna take off these coil packs, take those off. Um, they just take the platform that they're on off, that's what these studs right here are for. Um, and then you'll have the naked valve cover. And then I'll show you what to do from there. Oh yeah, and don't forget to unplug this right here. All right, after you have all the studs out, you should be able to just pull this up like this, slide it down so you can get it out. Let's see, doing this with one hand so it might be a little harder. All right, so let's see. Pull it up like this right here. And your cool packs should come out just like this on the platform that they're on. Don't forget to unplug your spark plug wires. Obviously, that'd be right here. But yeah, all right, there's that. Just lay this over to the side. And then you have, let's move some of this out of the way. So stick this right here. So it'll stay there. All right, and then we're gonna take these. I'm gonna just kinda tuck it like that. All right, so basically what we're looking at is we have four bolts they are eight millimeter bolts and they're on the top of the valve cover there's one under this wire harness spot right here right here there's one there there and there there's four of them all right but the main part we're looking for is the pcb valve which is right here gotta unplug it and obviously you already see right there that there is more oil right there than there should be so Pretty sure I just found my issue, and it wasn't a waste of the money that I spent, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes that happens. Um, but there seems to be no leaks around the outside, you know, it all seems fine. All right, well, we're gonna switch over. Um, also, the tools that you're gonna need, um, you don't necessarily need a torque wrench, but I have a torque wrench. Um, quarter inch torque wrench, a 10 millimeter ratchet, 10 millimeter, <clears throat> a 10 millimeter socket, and an eight millimeter socket. Um, the eight millimeter is for the valve cover itself. All right, we'll get these taken off and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. All right, so I got those bolts out, so we can uh, attempt to get this loose. Got me doing it one-handed over here. Let's see if we can, uh, see if we can get. Hmm. Give me just a second, guys, I'll be right back. All right, so uh, some people are gonna tell me that I'm retarded. Um, some people are gonna tell me that I'm not. This looks pretty dark, yeah, it looks pretty burnt. Probably doesn't look the healthiest, does it? No. All right. Well, there's everything that's there. Definitely looks pretty burnt. All right. Everything looks okay. All right. Well, now we just do the reverse. We'll clean off the surface area right here. Make sure there's nothing there, you know. Um, take this 
paper towel right here. You go around. Try to keep some of this dirt and grime from going inside. Sorry guys, I'm using my phone today. I'm not, my camera's dead today, so. So I'll throw a little video out there for you guys. Haven't done one in a while. Don't normally do truck videos, but here's one. Guess I could always start doing more. Um, this video is, you know, um, an ironic because it just kind of happened. And uh, I know there's a recall on these body styles. Um, it's, it's an easy fix. Um, not necessarily easy. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say it's uh, roughly the 5. You know, it's, it's not hard. Um, don't know why that's take that out. All right. So here's the new part right here. Um, let's see if I can do this one here. All right. So here's the new part right here. Um, this new part has on these you can't just pull out this and you know replace it. Um, but on these, the standard for the company is they ask you to check for leaks or put water in it right here in this hole and check and see if it leaks. But they have already epoxied mine from the factory. So um, I'm not going to really worry with it. Um, shut this door. Sorry if it's cicadas, guys. They're everywhere this time of year. Um, but yeah, here's this comparison for the old one and the new one. All right. And let's see, this old one. There's the old one. There. Show y'all a little bit of difference. All right. So this right here is the older, the older way that they had the factory um, edition. This is why they had a recall. This one right here has these little lips right here to help control unnecessary oil from going in. Um, I'm hoping this fixes the issue. Am I sure if it will? No. Um, but we'll see. Let me get back in this truck real quick. All right, guys. So I'm going to attempt to put this one on with one hand. I'm actually going to see if I can find some oil down in here somewhere to lube up these little spots. Let's see if I can get my fingers clean real quick. I'll just stick my finger down in there. All right, take this right here. Just kind of go around it, around the seal, the new seal. Um, when you get these, make sure you get one that has a new seal, or else I'll have to buy a seal separately. Um, my dumb self ended up buying the valve cover and a pack of seals um, i don't necessarily call myself dumb it was just a waste of money i can take it back it's not an issue but um i wasn't for sure if the valve cover came with the seal or not my dog's out here running around So just take your finger, you know, get a little bit of oil on it and run it around the seal. Basically help seal it. Reach a little more. Just wipe some off right here. Take that finger right there. I know where all that came from, but okay. All right, I had a rag somewhere right here. All right, that's there. Now, when you go to put this on, make sure that the PVC valve is in the back. And that's the whole reason we're changing this thing, is so your PVC valve is where it needs to be. Um, see if I can sit you somewhere, so I can turn you around. 
don't really know where I can sit yet. Nope. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to hold him. Sorry about all the run around. So I can get it under here. started there's one there's two four all right so we're gonna take the I'm gonna take the regular ratchet and just snug these um, and then we're going to torque them it's gonna look kind of weird only new part on this motor at the moment well it's not the new not the new part but you know what I mean the guess you could say shiniest part on this motor so this is going to be a little tricky that's my grandmother with her broken starter bendix because you hear the tink 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 yeah. ain't had time to fix that either so we just take it to this right here We'll get it to where it'll ratchet. All right, there we go. Take this one right here. Snug it up. I'm under a hood. I'm good. Because it's a hood, it's good. Camera shut off, boys. All right, but anyways, we're on the last one right here. Just snug it up. snug right there i'll be back in just a second. all right so the torque specs are 83 inch pounds for the valve cover get my foot out of the way There we go, right there. We'll get this one right here. Actually, we're gonna do this, do the second one first. I mean the third one, we'll do the third one. So we went from one, two, then we're gonna come back. Actually, we went one, three, come back to two, and then go to four. This, nobody told me to do this. I just, you don't necessarily have to torque it, but I prefer to. Makes me feel a little safer in the end. There we go. There we 
go. All right. I'm going to go back to the third one, the second one actually. There we go. Alright, then we'll go back through and make sure they're all, all snugged up. All right, those are all torqued. Now, go back through. We'll put the PP, the PP, uh, PC, PCV valve clip back on. Snap it back on. You'll hear a thud when it clicks. All right. Now the fun part is putting the coil packs back on. Almost forgot what I did with those. But uh, yeah, you know, your five studs go back where they go. And that's it. I'll throw these cool packs back on and I'll be right back. All right, got the cool packs back on. Remember, you got to put your five studs back in. You got one at the front, one under this wire right here, this big wiring harness. Um, you got one right here. That's your third one. That's your fourth one right here past the third cool pack. And then you got your last one behind the last cool pack. And then you snug everything up. Remember, these are a 10 millimeter, whether you're using a socket or you're using a ratchet wrench, either one. Don't forget to plug up your cool packs, or else you will be, be definitely wondering why something's running wrong. If it'll even start like that. If it does, it'll be running rough as crap. And uh, I can't get to that last one with the can't get to that last one with the wrench, so I'll have to get the socket back. And your last part, plug up your spark plug wires. And after that, you're all done. Make sure everything runs right. Make sure they all click. Go start her up and see what she does. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot to plug up my spark plug wires. There we go. I don't see any more smoke. A little bit of condensation in there. Other than that, they're running smooth. Got everything back in right there. Just off the racket. I don't see any leaks or anything. Um, when you put this all back on, be sure that you plug back in your main power or your main electrical switch. Plug in back to your uh your cool pack uh, make sure you plug in all your spark plugs back into the cool pack yeah seems to be running fine i'm going to check the oil and put everything back together thanks for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe